Hello, in this video we're looking at the Leica Elmar 50mm f2.8 Leica M-mount lens. Hello, welcome back. Matt from MrLeica.com. Today's lens is the Leica Elmar and this is Leica M-mount lens review number 16. This is another amazing lens which you may feel you need for your camera bag. It offers quite a lot that the majority of other Leica lenses or like M out lenses, whether it's Zeiss or Voigtlander, can't offer. So this is quite a special lens. And if you stay until the end, I'll show you not one version of this lens, but two versions. So these are both like a Elmar 50mm f2.8 lenses. Stay with me and we'll come to this one later on. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Price. This lens being a vintage lens, as the name suggests, is no longer available to buy new. So you can only buy this lens you use. I did my usual check on eBay and, and the price seems to vary kind of wildly. I looked at current listed lenses and I looked at completed listed lenses over the last few months for eBay Europe. And the average price seems to be around £450 for this lens. But you can pick them up for under £300. So there's a huge price swing there are a couple of different versions of this lens which is why the price may vary and also it will depend a lot on condition older lenses are more susceptible to things like haze and fogging and dust and mold fungus things like that general wear and tear on the lens because they're so old so you will pay more for a clean copy of a lens than for a lens with say haze that may need cleaning in terms of size, this lens is a special lens. Here I have it mounted on my Leica M3 and it's a really kind of beautiful pairing. They go really well together. And I do use this setup uh, quite often. So this is how small the lens is when it's collapsed and not in use. And then when you want to use the lens, you lift until it's fully locked out and then twist until it locks. And that is how the lens looks when it's kind of ready for taking pictures. So, so you need to make sure if you buy this lens, do not take photos when it is in this position because you'll get no photos in focus. You must extend the lens before taking your pictures. This lens is a bit of a weird one. It has an aperture scale f2.8 to f16 on both sides of the lens. If you can see that, there's no kind of half stops or third stop click. In terms of the weight, this lens weighs in at 220 grams and for filter size it's really nice even as an old lens it takes the standard 39mm filter thread kind of the Leica standard. There is a Leica Elmar 50mm f3.5 version of this lens so if you are looking to buy an eBay just do check that it is the f2.8 version that's the one that we're looking at today. I will cover the f3.5 version of this lens in the next lens series. I just need to finish the Leica M-mount lenses first and then we'll get on to some more older lenses. So that's the weight and the filter size. In terms of features of this lens, being an older lens, it's designed to focus at a close focus distance of one meter, not 0.7 meters, because that is how close a like M out camera is designed to focus. So the older like M camera design was designed to focus at one meter on the like M3. And so lenses of the same period were also designed to focus at one meter close focus. That's not ideal if you want to shoot portraits like myself, but it does have a special feature kind of up its sleeve, which I'll come to in a second. In terms of the look of this lens, again, being an older lens, I would say it flares very easily shot wide open at a bright source of light. When you use this lens wide open f2.8, you can have kind of this veiling flare, which basically looks like reduced contrast across your whole image. So it's still sharp, but the apparent sharpness is less. It will get optically sharper if you stop the lens down to say f4 or f5.6, but it also looks apparently sharper because the contrast will also increase as you stop the lens down. I still use this lens quite happily at f2.8 for portraiture and you'll get a nice kind of out of focus background. But if I'm shooting things like buildings or something like this, then I'll, I'll stop the lens down to f8, f11 to try to get like the maximum sharpness. There's very little vignetting even at f2.8 and I tend to use a lens without a lens hood despite the fact that it flares. You can use a flare to your creative advantage or you just shoot with the sun behind you and then you don't really need to worry. There are lens hoods designed for this lens but I've never bothered to buy one because I prefer to have the camera with its smallest possible setup. So for travel this lens is amazing. If you've not seen my smallest like M-out lens video 
which is a collection of lenses and I showed the smallest lens available for each focal length. I'll perhaps link it at the end of this video because you might find it interesting if you like the idea of small lenses. So this is my smallest 50mm lens that I own. Just to give you a visual like we normally do, here is my Leica Similux 50mm f1.4. Look at that. This makes a Leica M camera pocketable and it's a really nice design and I really like it. And being small it means I use the lens more as well. So it's kind of win-win. So as I mentioned, there are a few different versions of this lens. There is an f3.5 version, which we're not looking at. There's the f2.8 15 blade version, which is this lens. And then there was a later lens brought out in the 1990s, which is a six blade version. You'll recognize the six blade version of the lens if you see one, because it's, it comes in black, whereas the 15 blade vintage version only comes in silver. The advantage of the more modern six blade version of the lens is it is sharper and it will focus at 0.7 meters, where this will be less sharp and focus at one meter. Okay, so I mentioned that this lens had a special hidden feature. So this is how the lens looks off the camera when it's fully extended. And you can see the like M bayonet. So this is how you can use the lens straight off the shelf or straight off the eBay seller. When it arrives, it looks like this. And you can use it at one meter distance to infinity. But what they may not tell you is that you can also buy an adapter which converts this into a close focus lens. And that is amazing, especially for portraits. So what does that look like? Now this is the close focus goggles for the Leica Elmar 50mm f2.8. And it allows this lens to focus closer than it would normally, which is one meter. Now the way you mount this lens is slightly different and it did kind of puzzle me when I first bought the lens. I'm like, something's not quite right here. It just doesn't fit. Because if you try and mount the M mount bayonet into the adapter, the M mount bayonet is larger than the hole in the adapter. So that had me totally confused. And then what I realized was, if you collapse the lens, there's a second smaller bayonet on the inside. Can you see that? Then all you need to do is mount the inner bayonet with the lens collapsed into the adapter. So, like so. So now we have the lens mounted onto the adapter. And now the back of the adapter is a standard like an M mount. So all we need to do now is mount the lens as normal onto the Leica M. And here we have the Leica MR 50mm f2.8 lens on the close focus goggles, which allows you to now focus at around 0.4 meters. And in like terms, this is pretty special because we're so used to being restricted to 0.7 meters on even the lenses that focus close as they call it. So if you saw my video on the Leica Somicron 50 millimeter F2 DR lens dual range, that's the only other 50mm lens I'm aware of in the Leica lens lineup. This allows you to use it as a normal lens without goggles or a close focus lens with goggles. So this is very similar to the Leica Summicron DR in that respect. I guess the main difference is the Leica Summicron dual range or DR is a standard size lens. So the beauty of this lens is it collapses really small when it's being used as a standard lens. And that's the main reason I bought it. I wanted to buy a super small 50 mil lens for the M mount camera. So if you like the idea of close focus, but you want an F2 lens, I'd highly recommend checking out the Leica Summicron DR video. And if you're happy with a 2.8 lens and your primary interest is a small lens, then get the Leica Elmar instead of the Leica Summicron. So as I say, this is how it looks with the close focus adapter attached. Then once it's attached, you can focus as normal. I can actually focus on you guys, which is really quite close. I'll show you how close I can get. Hold on. So, right. So you guys are here. So, I'll probably move my hand, but it's basically very close. So it's really nice to have a I like a lens that actually does something useful in terms of you can actually get close to your subject. I think for the cost, this lens is amazing because it's both super small and it has the hidden feature of being able to focus close as well. You just need to pick up the close focus goggles if they're not being sold with the lens. Drop me a message in the comments if you're not sure which one to get, but basically it needs to look like this. If it doesn't look exactly like this design, it's likely that it's designed for a different Leica lens and thereby it will not work as you intend it to. For example, the Leica Summicron DR video shows the goggles are like a strip that just clip on top of the lens. So it's like just this bit where this is like a whole plate that goes behind the lens. So make sure you get the right adapter if you're going to use this lens with a close focus. Okay, so before I share some photos, 
I'll quickly show you a second version of this lens. So as I say, this is the M mount version, which is kind of the, the main reason for this video being the M mount lens series, but just as kind of an eye opener and then because I've already got it. This is the same Leica Elmar 50mm f2.8 Elmar. But here I have it mounted on my beautiful Leica 3A 1939 Barnack Leica. These cams are beautiful. They're really light, they're really small. And then if you pair them up with a small lens, it's like amazing. So here's my Leica M3. This is the single stroke version. I do have a double stroke as well. So Leica M3 with Elmar and then Leica 3A with Elmar. The main difference being this is a screw mount camera. This is a Leica M mount camera. Same lens, one's a screw mount lens, one's a bayonet lens. But if you want the super small setup, get yourself a Leica 3 camera because these are fantastic. I've done videos on all of these before. So if you're interested, check the description and I'll link some of the videos that we've covered. Leica 3A, Summicron DR, Leica 3A versus Leica M3, Leica M3 video. There's lots of information already done if you're new to this channel. Okay, so that's the lens. What can it actually do? So I'll bring up some pictures for you to look at. Firstly, because it's my most compact 50mm Leica M mount lens, I found it really useful for travel. So I've used it when I've been running overseas. So these are a series of photos taken when I've been out exploring on one of my long runs. And then I guess what you're probably interested in is what do the portraits look like? So these are portraits taken with a lens at one meter to infinity distance, i.e. not close focus. Some of the photos are taken on digital bodies. Some of the photos are taken on the Leica M3 or Leica film cameras. And then to finish, here are photos taken with the close focus adapter, particularly with it focusing quite close to get the maximum effect of the lens at close distance to the subject. So that's the Leica Elmar 50mm f2.8 Leica M mount lens. As with all my videos, if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button and feel free to drop me a message in the comments if you have any thoughts on, do you own this lens? Would you like to own this lens? How does the close focus adapter work? Things like that. That's it for another video. See you next time.